You see, if you don't have a vision of where you go and if you don't have a goal where you go, you drift around and you never end up anywhere. Because when you have a goal, when you have a vision, everything becomes easy because they're really not doing it because they didn't have a goal and they followed this goal. They just aimlessly drift around and then all of a sudden there's a job opening so they get that job because you have to work. It's work. It's not fun. So if you think about only a quarter of the people really enjoy what they're doing in life. So people always ask me, when they saw me in the gym in the pumping iron days, they said, why is it that you're working out so hard, five hours a day, six hours a day, and you have always a smile on your face? The others are working out just as hard as you do, and they look sour in the face. Why is that? And they told people all the time, I said, because to me, I'm shooting for a goal. It's all about the hard work that you put in. I said to myself, in bodybuilding, I worked out five, six hours a day. I'm going to do the same thing now for acting. And of course, I went to college to study English. I studied the I said voice, accent removal, acting classes, and all of this stuff. All day long, I worked and I worked and I worked. There was not one single minute that I wasted. And this is why I'm standing here today. There is no magic bill. There is no magic out there, but you can see how much time there is available if you organize your day. So you got to work hard. So you work your ass off and then you let the world know about your work. And I want to make millions of dollars and be rich and famous, just like Reg Park. I mean, think about it. And I, and I was just not visualizing just my exercise, but I was really lifting the trophy over my head. That's what I was thinking about. With the age of 20, I went to London and I won the Mr. Universe contest as the youngest Mr. Universe ever. Don't listen to the naysayers. The thing that I heard out of people's mouth was, that's impossible. That can't be done. Or no. I remember when I want to be a bodybuilding champion, including my parents and everyone else around me, said this is impossible. Why don't you become a ski champion? That's what they do in Austria. Or a bicycle champion to do some track and field. You can't be a bodybuilding champion. That is exactly what I heard. And of course, I proved to the people that it can't be done. If it is physically improved or if it is mentally to improve. So whenever someone said to me, it can't be done, I heard it can be done. When they said no, I heard yes. And when they said it's impossible, I heard it is possible. My body became an asset, not a liability. I said I made a full commitment that I'm going to go and be a bodybuilding champion. I made a full commitment that I'm going to be in America. I made a full commitment that I'm going to get into show business and I'm going to be a leading man. No matter what it takes, I will do the work. We have so many of those people that say no and you can't do it. It's impossible. That is okay because we just turn off. As I said earlier, and we listen and we hear the no being a yes, you can't do it, do it, you can do it, and all of that. So that, that is possible to do that amongst all the negative people around you. But when you start doubting yourself, that's very dangerous. That if I fail, then I fall and I get picked up and I have something else there that will, that will protect me. To understand that we function better if there is no safety net. Well, let me tell you something. Don't be afraid of failing because there's nothing wrong with failing. You have to fail in order to climb that ladder. Hey, we all lose. We all have losses. This is okay. And this is why I say don't be worried about losing because when you're afraid of losing, then you get frozen. You get stiff. You're not relaxed. You got to be in order to perform well in anything, if it's in boxing or if it is on your job or with your thinking, is only happening when you relax. So relax. It's okay to fail. Let's just go all out and give it everything that you got. That's what it is all about. So don't be afraid to fail.